It is literally Halloween night when I'm doing this review. I was going to go trick or treating and get some candy and I blew that off so I could come to the frigid desert, <laughs> no joke, and do reviews for you dudes. Yeah, I was gonna go as Frankenstein, the classic costume. Yeah, so no trick or treating for me tonight. Instead, I'm working for you. Here's the back of the Wolverine X4 in the project for about three years now. It is a workhorse. No hauling of Halloween candy tonight. Just uh, steel, ammo, and guns and lights. On the back of the tailgate, we are going to do a review of the Olight Javelot Tack Light infield review. Not given to me by Olight. I purchased it with donation dollars. Thank you to the donors. The independent, trustworthy voice you've come to know and sometimes put up with. Nothing fancy. So we're gonna do a tailgate review. I'm gonna rip through some of the specs, not everything on this light. My initial impression. And then you're gonna get a real impression as I shoot it in field. I do have my bog pod set up right here. I do have steel out yonder about, I don't know, about 150, 175 yards, something like that. That's the game plan, all subject to change. This is another review. I need to review the Odin weapon light. I've had that for like, heck, two years now. Crazy. You saw this one in operation in Red Skies 2022. So I've already kind of reviewed it in field, but it is gonna get its own in field review. So you guys can reference that if you want an Odin. That is in that limited edition red color. They'll probably come out with different colors for this uh, Havanaut tack light. It will be popular, I predict. That is my reference standard right there, boys, of the Warrior X Turbo. The best firepower focused weapon light I have used to date. That thing's an animal. It is a monster. This thing right here, dude. Yeah, I purposely have two weapon on are mounted on that host there for comparison. I just have this one here. Now I'm not planning for video length to go back and forth between these two guns, but I don't know, if I get a wild hair, maybe I will. So here's the light right here. It comes with a Picatinny rail mount, M-lock mount. The host weapon on this one is going to be a DPMS AR-15, a value 15. It is absolutely acceptable. It's a good gun. I have a Strike Eagle one to eight on it, illuminated. Link below. I highly, highly recommend the Strike Eagle, especially in this uh, magnification range, the one to eight. The one to sixes are good too, but the one to eights are uh, preferred. Today, I put a Rock River match trigger in there because the mil spec trigger was just pissing me off. <laughs> I just hate mil spec triggers so much. And then I have like an extended, I think there's a Blackhawk charging handle on there. The rest is as it came. Well, I got a VG on there. Okay, on to the light, real quick. About 6.5 ounces. This runs on an 18650 power cell. Is that sufficient for what it claims to do? And what it claims to do is throw 600 meters at 1,000 lumens. We're going to find out. We're going to find out. Usually, if I'm going for compactness, an 18650 is just fine. This one, what is it? The 21700, this power cell right here. I think that's what it is. Yeah, look at this sucker, dude. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. This is... This is the heart of an awesome weapon light, this one. I know, I'm selling you on the Warrior X Turbo and uh, I, no regrets doing that. If, if you can take the weight, because this is a heavier light, dude, no, it is awesome. And reg, a regular Javelot, the one that I reviewed previously, if you can take the length of a regular Javelot, very excellent. Now here, let me start out with this. We're talking about power cells, 21700, 18650. This is going to blow that away. It's, I mean, just from infield experience, I know these batteries. It's all about the power source. That's the engine of the flashlight. Okay, 
beyond that, this is a very culminated, precise throw beam. I mean, this will literally reach out hundreds and hundreds of yards. They're saying 600 meters, but what this light is doing and what it's, what the new ground it's breaking, if you haven't heard, is that it has a round beam, a spill beam, but it also is culminated to a point. So it's kind of, in my opinion, a, a, a combination beam. So it's capable of some long range, but also does area illumination. Now, I'm new to the light, I haven't used it a lot. I've only shot it twice so far, so you're gonna see my initial impression. Maybe it changes over time, so that's what this video is really about. So, 18650, they're saying 600 meters. I can tell you right off, off the bat, there's no way it's gonna be a 600 meter light, unless your eyes are really, really good. 1,000 lumens is what they're saying, but that is not for a long time I think six and a half minutes then it will ramp down to 500 lumens for 78 minutes and this is assuming warm conditions fresh battery 200 lumens 18 minutes it only has two modes low and high you'll be using it in high as a weapon light all the time the low mode is 200 lumens and it runs for 17 years I may have exaggerated slightly about 300 minutes is what they're saying no strobe no SOS, it's fine with me. You don't usually use those in a weapon light. IPX8 water resistance, again, 6.5 ounces thereabouts, so it's not super heavy. Notice this, by the way, this is really cool, and this is the first time I've seen Olight at least do this. So that has an integrated mount in it. It's actually part of the machined 6000 series aluminum body. And onto that, you're gonna slide your adapter lock. Once again, I'm running the M lock, and it was a bitch to get on this thing right here. It was a real pain. I still prefer key mod. You heard right, I hate M lock. <laughs> Dude, no apologies. I use it, and so it got, it got put on. It's sturdy now. And you'll notice, by the way, it, it is not running with its included pressure switch so this is a two mode pressure switch it has a low and a high and it has a locking tail cap to the magnetic base of the javelot tack light and that is the same ui that we are mostly familiar with in other olight products for instance i'm filming with an olight product right now so that what's providing the tailgate illumination is an s2r and it's talking to me look it's like, dude, your battery's not doing well. You need, you need to recharge your battery. Hopefully it lasts for the review. I got a spare if I need it. Now that's another nice thing about this design with the 18650. Let me clip this to my hat, which by the way is taped with electrical tape so my S2R doesn't slip around. I recommend you do the same. You can swap the batteries out, that's nice. So if you have a removable battery, has upsides and downsides. The upside is if it dies, you can swap it out. Here's a look at the tail cap, threading, O-ring, springs in it so to absorb shock. And there's the power source. Eight. We're here where the nonsense stops, right, in field. It's about 40 degrees where I'm filming, and there's nothing like infield dusting. I don't know what it is. It's like the curse of the desert can show up at any time, and there's just really no bullshit. And I'm gonna tell you, if I like the light, if it throws good, would I buy it? That's really what this review is all about. Would I buy it, or would I go with another light like this? And by the way, there's other weapon lights besides Olight, I know I talk about Olight a lot because I just have so much experience with them and I like their products. They are legit. But I watched my review on this, uh, the Surefire Scout uh, M640. So I came out here and I'll tell you right now, I was unimpressed. Yeah, it wasn't good. And it's way more expensive than this. The pricing on this is about 140 bucks, which is very inexpensive. And if you get it on a discount, it's gonna to be totally worth it. And again, I'm predicting it's gonna come out in different colors. 
Somewhere along the way, I'll be rolling in screenshots from Olight's store. Use my links if you purchase it. It helps me pay this crap off because I bought more than this. You might see a box right there. Yeah, so I, I, I need to make my money back. Use my links, it won't cost you anything. The Javalot Tac Light, is it awesome? Hmm, hmm, we're gonna find out, find out. That's pretty much the light though, it is pretty simple. My mounting on this is a little bit aft. I would like to push it forward, but I just ran out of slots and I don't wanna put my VG any further back. And I hope it works with my bog pod. I haven't even tried it. Uh, I'll figure it out if, I don't really don't wanna take my VG off. The can is a Gemtech Halo GMT. I am shooting suppress for this. And uh, I think it's time to do some shooting. What do you think? I'm gonna set the camera up and then we'll, off we go. And I'll give you an infield review and what my overall take on the Javelot tack is. By the way, here's the box. Here's all the data. You can pause that screen if uh, if you want. <laughs> if you don't want to go to the website, wouldn't blame you. And it comes with, again, the pressure switch, the wrenches, some zip ties, and then it'll take either an MC1 Alpha or an MC3 charge cable. Obviously, it comes with that. And it's a really slick way to charge. Uh, Olight's quality levels are insane. There's a look at the mount right there, and you've seen it in overlay screen too. That's high mode right there with the Javelot TAC. See our steel target out there, 175 yards. Let me move the gun a little bit. So you can see the illumination level. It's okay. I'm not gonna say it's amazing, there is a wide dispersion of the light. 600 meters, no way, dude. I mean, I'm at just under 200. I would consider this, from what I'm seeing right now, all subject to change, maybe a 200 yard light. I, I mean, that Warrior X Turbo will destroy it. So will a regular Javelot. And this is what I was talking about, the beam. You see the beam, wide spill area, and then culminated in the center. It's a new beam approach from Olight, so it's interesting. I think, from just looking at it right here, to 100 yards, it'd be great. And it's not a, a big light like we talked about. It's pretty compact. So it, it would kind of fall on the mobility side of the equation, dudes. Like I've always said, this is a mobility side of the equation. So if you have an ultralight AR build, maybe a kel SU-16, uh, some other lightweight tack carbine or uh, PCC, this would be a good option from what I know now. I forgot to cover the UI, by the way, so I'm going to turn it off. We're in night mode so you can see. If I do a short press and just leave it, it should go to low mode. Let's see if I went deep enough. I'm probably not going to do it right. If I go deep and then I click it, that's high. But you can do a momentary press like this. There's low. There we go. And then we press deep again, high. That's what you guys are gonna use it for. You're just gonna use it on high. Unless you decide to, for whatever reason, use it as an EDC light. Uh, 200 lumens on low though. The nice thing about low is that the battery will last a lot longer and it doesn't draw as much attention to you. Albeit it's still a beacon saying, hey, here I am. Okay, and I'm gonna tighten that can up because I think it loosened a bit. It attaches to an A A2 birdcage right here. I love it, it's a great suppressor. Great suppressor, I love the Gym Tech suppressors. Hang on a second. Here we go. All right, dudes, how about this right here? Yeah. Now I will wear hearing protectors. If that makes you sad, I don't care. I've got tinnitus and I have to protect my ears a lot. This is a great scope. Really perfect for what I'm doing tonight. I mean, just perfect. I'm gonna start in night mode. What do you think guys? Night mode or do you want regular? Uh, I'll start night mode and then we'll go to regular. How's that? I think I'm loaded up, ready to rock and roll. Let me give you my impression looking through. 
Now, I don't have a scope cam on, obviously, but it is kind of a weak beam at that distance. Okay, remember I told you no bullshit. This is no bullshit. It's kind of a weak beam. I can see the plate, but it's not like totally lit up. If you had a low contrast target, it might be a problem. And I just remembered I need to put my glasses on since I'm running a can because it'll spill right back in your face. That fancy, you need to do more infield stuff. Dude, I've done like six. This is my sixth infield review and I have more coming. So it's coming, dudes. I'm doing the best I can. I'm working hard thanks to the donors. Thank you, donors. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Okay, so it's, it's doing a pretty good job. But like I said, it's just, it's, it's not a, uh, a super culminated beam. One thing I will say for this light, the Javelot Tack, it would be good if you had a host of bad dudes coming towards you. Cause look at the area that it illuminates. See that? So that's a good thing. So you wouldn't have tunnel vision with this. So if you had an, a bunch of dudes, you know, like in your airsoft game, I'm talking, then um, it might ha might be an upside, really, because that Warrior X Turbo, it's going to throw a really tight beam with just a little bit of spill, as I recollect. Uh, this one, more of an area throw. That's how it looks. Crenellated bezel right here, if you wanted to use it uh, for striking, I guess. But it's not very sharp. It's pretty dull. Couple more rounds. Would I buy one? Well, you, you have to define what I'm gonna use it for. If I'm gonna really side with, like I was talking about, the mobility side of the equation, the answer is yes, I totally would. But as an overall weapon light, holy, holy cow, I cannot see this mount. There we go. As an overall weapon light, mm, I'm kind of right now really siding towards a firepower and I'll take more weight. And that means I'm running with a 21700 power light like the Warrior X Turbo. Uh, but not in all situations. I'm talking like something I want to reach out to 300 yards at night and I'm not and I'm willing to use a weapon light and give my location away. Other than that I'm using night vision, dude. IR illumination. Go watch my uh, Psionics Aurora Black review. How about low? Would low work? Uh, I guess the answer is yes. I like high better. Okay, let me come out of night mode. I forgot, dude, sorry. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. You want to see the Warrior X Turbo in action before I call this review on the Javelot TAC light complete, don't you? Now, I don't have that one canned, so we are going to have some noise here in a second. Remember the beam pattern right here? Okay. Focus, focus, focus. Remember that. And now I guess I will do just a couple of rounds with... That other AR that has the Warrior X on it. DPMS AR-15 doing a great job. <laughs> I'm going to sell you on this one, dude. It's just insane. Oh, now we're talking. Look at that, dudes. See that? Better. Better. Is it translating in the camera? I think it is. Let me look through the scope and see if it's about the same. And I'll just do a couple rounds right here. Yeah, this is my reference standard. It has been that way for a long time. 
Oh my gosh, this is going to be loud, bro. What am I looking at? That is so jacked up. Ah, that's better. Oh, nice. How about the uh, Odin? Oh, there's the Odin right there, dudes. Oh, that is way way too washed out oh the odin shut off dudes that's not good let's try that again okay that's the odin here comes the warrior x yeah that's my reference standard right there see that this is with a 21 700 and it's a lot heavier. Doesn't have an included mount with it. Uh, it's going to be more complexity. It's, you know, firepower side of the equation, like I said. There you go, a couple rounds with that. I'll put links to this below too, this monster. It's awesome. Wrapping it up in the desert, Halloween night. No joke, this is Halloween. I'm not making that up. It is literally Halloween. Don't leave the theater quite yet, boys. I got one more thing to show you on this Halloween's Eve. I was talking about it there at 175 yards, and now you're going to see it for realsies. We are at 350 yards. O light, Javelot, Tack light is on. Here's the beam. This is what I was discussing with you dudes. Look. Can I define the target? I'm gonna look through here, and the answer is no. Uh, I know where it's at, but I can't see it. So it's right past the burnt out side by side, 35 yards past that. It's right where my beam is. So this is what I was talking about. It's a good beam, let's just call it, to 200 yards. Beyond that, you need more horsepower, a 21700 battery, more culminated beam. And also, I wanna be real with this, I don't really know if you need a weapon light to that distance. <laughs> okay, can we be real? Let's be real. You don't need a weapon light out to, I don't know, 400 yards usually, unless you're hunting hogs down in Texas. Then I could see it. But usually I'd be using night vision. I'd use like a night vision uh, sighting device with an IR illuminator. That way I don't spook the pigs. But you're seeing it right now. So at this distance, no, no. Now that other light I was showing you, the Warrior X Turbo, it could. Yeah, I could make out the target at this distance. But at this distance right here, no. Uh -uh. And uh, yeah, I would buy this. It's not a throw monster like they're selling it. They're acting like this is 600 meter, probably like I'm saying 200 yards, but that's with my eyes. Maybe your eyes are different and you take it out in, in field and if you're lucky enough to have a place like this, you can test it yourself. Maybe you can use the lighting out to, I don't know, 400 yards. I don't see that happening though. I think inside 100 yards, this thing is outstanding. Outstanding. Highly recommended. Going back to white light as we wrap it up here on tailgate of the X4. I probably melted my rubber pad with my can. Yeah. Recommended. Javelot. Tack light. Nothing fancy. In field review. Complete. I like doing these because it's the fastest way I can get out the information to you guys and it's gonna be a shorter video. If I get on tabletop, we'll include all the details, competitive options, and we'll get distracted with a bunch of toys too. <laughs> Signing off, see you next video.